Hello everyone, this is Bri Arsenal, and welcome back to another chapter of Slay the Princess. You're on a path in the so, woods, and at the end of that path we are going to go cabin. ahead and... And in the basement of that cabin is um, a princess. I don't know, man. Ugh, as disgusting as it is, I think we're going to go for the stranger ending again. Just to see how different that is. Ugh, th this one gives me the heebie-jeebies. I hate it so much. So much. Uh, so don't worry, there's no jump scares or anything. It's just disgusting. It's just an abomination to look at. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Yes, narrator, I understand the, uh... I understand the premise. Alright. Turn around and leave. Seriously? You're just going to Absolutely. turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? I do not. Uh. Nope. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Guys, we're doing it. We're saving her. Or just, you know, allowing the next person to have this repugnantly moral choice. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation yeah. than to take part in it. Because that's what heroes do. We just walk away when things are messy. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I think he does. That's strange. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. How convenient. Everything's back no. on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. Turn around again and leave again. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time. Absolutely. It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. It's gonna be okay, narrator. You're not emotionally blackmailing Stakes me into doing this. Consequences aren't emotional blackmail. They're facts of life, and if you had an ounce of maturity, well, I don't. Understand I'm that. walking away from this cabin. But fine, you turn around and trek back down the path you came. Oh, would you look at that? You're at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you fated confrontation with the princess. So far, no change. Oh yeah, well I guess I start walking in a different direction. Again, in fact I'm just going to keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a play way out of this place. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who's I'm ever also making the wrong well one for my, whoever for my mental health, I feel like. And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of oh. familiar wooden structures oh. through the leaves. The audio. Oh, that's a fun but as you focus That's a fun on level of creepy. You start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. Yep. In every direction there is a path. The shaking is a little jumpy. And not just a cabin, I don't like that. The cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Yep. Wait, what's going on? It's the end. You're too stubborn for that, aren't you? Yeah! It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility. Absolutely. You care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. Yes. You've doomed us all. You know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise, Please, you just it doesn't wander matter. off into the forest in search of certain death. It's fine. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Perfect. Oh, I really don't like this one. I really on don't like this one. I am woods. doing this for you. And at the end of that path is a cabin. I don't want to do this. And in the basement of that for cabin you all. is a princess. 
This is the worst ending. You're here to slay her. Well, if you don't, maybe the nightmare. It the nightmare is probably scarier. But this is just the creep factor up to twelve. So I will tell you. Silently proceed to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. Uh, she will lie. She no, will she cheat, won't. And she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. If we're stuck going in there, maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. Yeah. Ignore him. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. Absolutely. Let's keep an open mind. Yeah. The interior of the cabin is odd, the air smelling faintly of plastic, the wood of the walls fitting together at uncomfortable angles. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table, its legs all the wrong lengths. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I'm definitely going to need the blade. If he wants us to take it, maybe we should just... Leave it to collect dust, or better yet, grab it and throw it out the window. What good is a knife against a world-ending monstrosity anyway? Sure. I for one would rather have it. We don't really know what we're dealing with here. Absolutely. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I we have are to explain this? Not to be dealing with a princess right now, buddy. You didn't say anything about the mirror, though. Yeah. We should look at ourselves. Eh? Wouldn't that be fun? You won't be looking at yourself because there isn't a mirror. There's Lies. the table, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. The mirror's right there. Definitely a mirror. There isn't. You insisting it isn't there just makes me want to. Why would you lie about exactly. that? What's the point? Why would I lie about something so meaning? Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. I do want to see myself. I can't wait for an update where you see yourself, and maybe you change in every story as well. You reach forward and nah. rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But it was there a second ago. <sighs> really? And now it's gone. You know <sighs> that taking the mirror away from us isn't going to change things, right? We'll find You're someone end, who gets squeamish we'll over things. You don't want us to see. You get squeamish over things. I suggest you leave the video. Just know that this is how you get the ending, and avoid it like the plague. You take the blade from the table. Okay, fine. You took the knife. Then how we spot the other way? Thumb at the bottom. It really doesn't matter how you hold the blade the other Switch way. Switch your grip on the blade. Congratulations. Be ready to stab down, yeah. Yeah. Isn't this so much better? <laughs> okay, fine. You're right. This does look a lot better. Perfect. It really doesn't matter. Just get on with it and deal with the princess already. A hundred percent. Enter the basement. Oh, dear lord. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase built from an unidentifiable and featureless material. The steps barely seem to fit together, and upon closer inspection, they barely seem to go anywhere at all, let alone down. Yes, Euclidean geometry has, has broken. The air here has an almost artificial quality to it, the scent of plastic from the cabin mingling with a cocktail of chemical odours. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favour. Yep. Her voice carries up the stairs, its multi-tonal lilt adding to the already uneasy atmosphere. Oh, please don't. Hi, is someone there? This isn't what I expected her to sound like. What, what is, is she? she indeed? Well, she's not a princess, that's for sure. Yep. She is a princess. Don't let your imagination run wild. Uh-huh. That sounds nice. We don't remember the last time we had company. 
It takes you a moment to orient yourself before you're able to start moving forward. Yeah, it does. As you enter the next room, the form of the princess comes into view, her wrist bound to the far wall in heavy shackles. Alright. She locks eyes with you. Okay. One moving a little faster than the other. I really don't like the it. The loose skin of her face stretching into something resembling a smile. Yeah. Holy shit. Absolutely. I don't know about you, but I'm sure that we took that knife with us. I can't believe someone <laughs> suggested you toss it out the window. Can you imagine? Absolutely. Why are you just, just standing there? Ooh. Are you scared of us? Of us? Yes. Ugh. Ugh. I really don't like the stranger ending. Alright. Really just bleh. But I just wanna that's the updated version, I guess. I I mean there wasn't a huge amount of change on that. But I just wanna say thank you everybody so much for tuning in. This has been Bray Arsenal. I hope you all have a great and fantastic day, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.